So once you do that and you make sure you've got enough space on the outside, you can come over here and um, ch -ch -ch. so the slide, there's in and out. So we'll go out. So there's plenty of space in here with the slide in. If you're just uh, road tripping, you stop to make lunch or whatever, it's totally functional with the slide in. But then once you open this thing up, man, it's just giant. It's very nice, very comfortable place. It's very luxurious for two people. I don't have any kids, so uh, it's just the two of us. Tank level switch, water pump, I turn that on and it's just gonna run because there's no water in it. Uh, and then you can turn on your 12 volt heater, which is really just propane and like minimal 12 volt. And then if you're plugged in, you can turn on the 120 volt. It takes a lot longer to heat up on AC power. Propane has a lot of energy. Um, and then voltmeter for house battery. And then the other switch is for the chassis battery. There's a system bay heater. Uh, there's like an AC outlet and you can plug in a heater and turn that on to heat those bays for wintertime camping. And then the generator start stop. So you hold stop and it primes it and then you hit uh, the starter button. It usually takes like 10 seconds of primer to start it. Um, <clears throat> that pretty well rounds it out. I don't think I looked at any of the upper cabinets in here. Um, so your breaker panel, other fuse panel and uh, the detail, all that stuff is right here. Uh, it's a 30 amp main, pretty standard. And then uh, all these dishes and everything fit so nicely in here. And you know, they're Walmart dishes. They weren't super expensive. Those are included and it's like 20 bucks in dishes. I don't care. Um, another compartment. And uh, also got some, I have three of these matching towels. They go with the color scheme. Pretty cool. Those are included. And um, coffee maker. This is obviously, this is a huge compartment back there. Um, and then, uh-oh. Well, there's a pan that got hooked on the inside of that, so that means that's not a good spot for that pan to be. So I'll deal with that later. I'm working from home for however long this virus is going on, so I'm available to show at any time. If you have some questions, uh, feel free to call or email. Uh, also, I see this, so there's a trailer brake controller there as well. That's wired in. Um, it's, uh, and then you see up there, uh, there's the generator start. So you can start the generator like as you're pulling up if you want, uh, cause you should let a generator run for a minute or two before you put a load on it. <clears throat> and then there's also that switch next to it called battery boost. And so if your, uh, the van battery happened to die, uh, you can press that button and it will link up the house batteries and you can jump start yourself. All right, I think that's all I got. Again, any questions, let me know. You will not be disappointed. It's uh, ready to go and uh, shouldn't need anything. It's got almost a full tank of propane, will fill water and you'll be good to go camping.